Welcome to Midlife Matters. I'm Marie, and each week I'm joined by my friends Julie and Mindy to talk about all the topics keeping women in the middle years up at night. No matter how old you get, cleaning and taking care of your home is always a part of life. Join us as we talk about cleaning routines, products, and ways we get the needed work done around our own homes. Let's get started. Listeners, today we're talking about housekeeping, and while housekeeping could also include shopping, cooking, bill paying, maintenance, first and primarily, we tend to think of cleaning. And I thought it was interesting the way the social media network LinkedIn defined housekeeping, and so let me read that for you real quick. LinkedIn says, housekeeping means performing all the duties towards sweeping, polishing, vacuuming, maintaining orderliness, and removing waste materials and other fire hazards on hotel property. But this also applies to your home. (laughs) And so it says that housekeeping responsibilities include maintaining the home, they say hotel, but maintaining the home to the best possible state in terms of cleanliness and keeping it at a highly desirable ambience. Oh my. That is true that we are trying to create a certain ambience. At least I have that goal in mind when I start cleaning, like I want it to feel nicer (laughs) when I'm done, you know? (laughs) I don't know. I'm already feeling like this is as attainable as becoming the Proverbs 31 woman. Like every (laughs) time I read that, I'm like, yeah, can do all that. So (laughs) well, like for the hour hour after you clean, it's kind of like that. But I thought this was interesting too. (laughs) Under bullet points, I'll put in home for where they put in hotel. To keep up the home with classy interior decoration, to manage laundry and linen, to take care of the furniture, fittings, and fixtures of the entire home, and to maintain the overall cleanliness of the entire home at all times. You must also perform these duties most efficiently and effectively. <laughs> so, so this is our standard, you guys. If we want to get into at all times part, <laughs> right? And that's that's clearly impossible in a home. But I thought that that was interesting because we really are trying to do a lot of these things. Yes. I mean, I think you're going to have to get rid of all children. If you're just talking about this list, just go ahead, remove all children. And if you have a child, then let the list go. (laughs) Okay, here's the sad part, Mindy. I did get rid of all the children and it's gotten worse. Oh, Julie. (laughs) I think because you're less, you know, I've worked better under pressure. And so Mm -hmm. things can go longer and things can get Uh, worse. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's really true. The more you clean, the less you have to clean. And so, yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting too long and things are getting bad. (laughs) I would definitely echo that, Julie, because having experienced all my kids away at college this semester, I thought, well, I'll be so on top of it. And instead, I am Mm -hmm. not. Without people (gasps) at home to, like, care, you tend not to care Uh anymore either. And, like, Steve (laughs) travels a lot, so if he's not here... I'm like, well, it's just the dog and me. <laughs> you just have to rush oh. around 30 minutes before he comes home and get it. All I know. Back. I <laughs> And do. live in your filth otherwise. <laughs> yeah. So I really do think that like having a reason to clean like someone in the house or like even only mm. a small amount of time actually makes you work yes. better because, you know, Gretchen mm. Rubin, she says, okay. Whatever can be done at any time, it's not done any time. Like if you can do it whenever, then you just tend not to do it. And that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Lauren left Mm. for college over a month ago. I have yet to put the sheets back on her bed. Every day I walk by, I think maybe I should put those sheets back on. I'm like, nah, no one's even here. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) That's my life. She's coming home this weekend, though, so I'll do a big push. (laughs) There you go. You'll get the sheets on. Yes. Friday yes. afternoon. All right. So listeners, obviously you can tell from Julie and I and from Mindy's groans that we're not living up to the LinkedIn <laughs> definition, but we just thought it would be fun today to talk about how we clean our homes because no matter how old you get, cleaning and taking care of your home is always a part of life. And so we want to talk about routines, products, the way we get the needed work done as quickly as possible around our houses. We've got some tips and tricks and maybe a couple cleaning confessions to share. (laughs) Yeah. And I thought it would be good if we linked everything. I know that some of these have probably been on our I'm a fans in the past, but if Mm, we can link it all in one place, Mm -hmm. uh, that might be helpful. Yes, we can certainly try to do that. So let's dive in. Okay, who wants to go first? Who has a weekly cleaning schedule that they want to share with listeners? 
Mindy, you groaned the loudest. So oh, we want to hear what your weekly schedule is. I was even looking away. I was like, don't look at her. She won't look at you. <laughs> don't pick me. Well, you still have kids in the home, Mindy. So you I do. have you're still doing mm-hmm. the routine. I am. So like the the things that get touched all the time get cleaned all the time. Mm-hmm. The things that don't get touched all the time get ignored mm-hmm. until they're impossible. So I wouldn't really call it weekly things. I think there are a lot of daily things in my home. Mm -hmm. If I could just start there. Sure. Um, so, so daily things is our routine is all the dishes get put into the dishwasher throughout the day. I start the dishwasher at night, Jacob empties it in the morning, and then we continue the routine. Mm -hmm. So I don't like having dishes strewn about. Mm -hmm. So Really, every day I'm looking for dishes and people are losing their cups that they're leaving places because I'm putting them in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> I I clean the countertops multiple times a day. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite products is just Clorox wet wipes. Okay. Like it not only has to look clean, it has to smell clean and there can't be anything sticky. So mm-hmm. I will bend down in the sunlight and you can see everything. Whereas if I go away on a girl trip, or I leave the boys alone, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, they will have all the dishes put away when I come home, but don't look at the countertops too closely because I don't think <laughs> right. they, they think about them. disinfecting. No, I'm a huge disinfector. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so every day I, I wipe handles, uh, the microwave buttons, the refrigerator door handles, the faucet handle. Um, I'm wiping things that people are touching mm-hmm. all the time because mm-hmm. they're smudged. There's peanut butter smudges on Jong. I'm like, do you Mm. not see that? You can follow boys around the kitchen. You know exactly what they made and in what order they made it. (laughs) (sighs) Yes. (laughs) Again, things that are, you know, being touched all the time are getting cleaned all the time. Now, Mm -hmm. don't ask me the last time I cleaned out my refrigerator Mm -hmm. because I could ignore that stuff all day long. (laughs) Okay. Okay. So you got a lot of daily things. A lot of daily things. And the last thing that I do that's probably not every day, but probably every couple of days is I run my um, iRobot, my vacuum. Oh. You know, I pick up the bar stools and Rosie cleans up the floors for me. Oh, good job, Rosie. Good. <laughs> <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about you, Julie? Do you have a weekly schedule that you generally stick to? No, not at all. No. Okay. Did you ever <laughs> before you had kids leave the home? Uh, I'm sure at one point I did. I'm more of just the kind of person who sees it and then does it, you know, mm-hmm. like, okay, this needs mm-hmm. cleaning. So do it. And I generally have enjoyed house cleaning. Mm-hmm. Um, right now I do not. So cleaning is on a as needed basis right now. I do mm-hmm. tidy up daily. I sweep daily because I don't want to get the vacuum out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm a chronic wiper, Mindy. Like I always mm. feel kind of weird when people are over, like, like I'm, Wiping their fingerprints away. Like mm. I'm constantly wiping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I just like the surfaces clean, you know, so mm, yeah. Me too. yeah, that's it for me. I would say that I do have a weekly schedule. Like I'll vacuum the whole upstairs one day and then a different day I'll vacuum the whole downstairs and I'll clean the bathrooms at least once a week and I'll change the sheets once a week, you know, when people are living here. So I would say like those are my weekly things that I'm going to do every course during the day, you know, there's, Kitchen, I don't think you could just clean that weekly. Like that no. needs to be an hourly sometimes. Hourly. <laughs> if you have mm-hmm. a lot of people here. Um, I'm not like you, Mindy. Like it doesn't matter to me if there's some dishes in there. But by the end of the day, I will have them all loaded in the dishwasher and I will run it. And usually end up having to load the dishwasher twice, like once after lunch and once after dinner. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I am I am like you in the fact that I do not want to go to bed with dishes or like kitchen cleanup. I don't want to wake up to that. (laughs) Right. It's just harder to clean it in the morning. You know how some families use the same cup all day long. You know, if Uh you get a cup out in the morning, you just use it all day long. And I think I've kind of trained my family not to do it because as soon as I see it sitting on the counter, I run and put it in the dishwasher. And so they have Mm -hmm. to get another one. But I would Mm -hmm. almost rather just them keep getting new ones. And because I'm the dishwasher every day anyway. Um, yeah. than just having cups laying around. 
Oh, I would say like I've had seasons of this because when the kids were little, I bought them their own color cup and they were only allowed to use one a day because we'd go through the whole cabinet. That's mm-hmm. how I was um, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so now that they're older, I'm fine if they use the same cup, but they forget mm-hmm. that they've gotten a cup. And then yeah. there, there's like six cups sitting on the counter. I'm like, there's really like four people in this house. Right. Whose cups are these? <laughs> yes. Yeah, things definitely change in that area. Well, let's talk about the kitchen in particular. We want to talk about some products that you like, some things that you do daily, maybe some recommendations that you have for people. One thing that I do in the kitchen every single day, which I think makes me feel better because I don't like to step on crumbs, is I sweep. At least the kitchen. A lot of times I'll sweep the whole downstairs, but at least the kitchen, just because it feels like there's always a minefield under my feet if I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing I do every day in there. And then I also replace the towels and dishcloth daily. I don't like Mm -hmm. the smell of of the dishcloth that I used the day before. I can immediately tell that. I don't know. I don't like it. I get Mm -hmm. rid of both, throw them in the laundry and get new ones out. (laughs) And -hmm. sometimes I'll Mm -hmm. replace the kitchen towel multiple times. Like if I've seen people use it to wipe up a spill off the floor or, you know, stuff like that. (laughs) I like to use a lot of towels. Me too, Marie. Like I look over and I I always tell them this is only for clean hands to dry your hands on. Mm -hmm. But then I see them and they're wiping their whole face and head. I'm like, why are you doing that? You're killing me. Like go put that in the laundry room. I know they'll wipe their sweaty face off because they've been outside and even my Ooh. husband might do that. And that's like, this mm-hmm. is for clean dishes. So I do, I always oh. put down a clean one before anybody comes over thinking. <laughs> yes, yes. My half bath and my oh. kitchen towel get replaced daily. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yes, I do. I replace the bathroom towels daily too, just because <laughs> I don't know what they've done in there. You know, I'd rather just start mm. fresh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but what are some things that you guys do? Do you have any recommended cleaning products? I tried to think if I did. Mm. I don't think I really do i mostly just tend to stick to soap and water in the kitchen unless i like Mm -hmm. had chicken juice on the counter you know i might get out a stronger cleaner but other than that i pretty much stick to soap and water yeah i love the uh, for the products that i try to always keep on hand i love the dawn power wash that we talked about you know that spray bottle that you can soak mm -hmm. pans in and okay um and i always had that barkeeper's friend it's a good scrubbing thing to scrub your sink down i love a clean sink that Mm -hmm. makes me feel good as Mm. if the sink is clean and shiny Mm -hmm. um and i love all the mrs myers products to wipe things down and Mm -hmm. gives a good fresh scent i'm all about the smells um yeah one thing that I use um, regularly all over the house, and this sounds really weird, but um, I had a lady come for a very short time and clean my house when my kids were small. And I would come back in the house and everything was shiny and it kind of smelled citrusy. She, she used the Goo Gone, you know, the orange mm, citrusy mm-hmm. oil. Yeah. She would she would kind of finish off everything with that. Like you can put it on granite, yeah. you can put it on your faucets and sinks. And oh. I use it on my wood countertops and it just... I mean, you can use it on glass. It's amazing. Mm. Um, so I like to kind of finish everything off with that. And mm-hmm. um, periodically, I kind of clean out my junk drawer because that's in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I kind of I like to keep like invitations and things that come in the mail on the counter and then put them on my calendar before I you know throw them away. So there's like a little place for that. And that gets disorganized. So I kind of go through that every couple of days. Um, I do clean out my fridge monthly and I do it on the weekend because the trash comes on Monday and I like to, I don't want to put anything too stinky in the trash all Mm -hmm. week long. But one tip that I have done, I've started doing is running things through the dishwasher that aren't dishes. Mm. Like they said, you know, run your stove knobs through there or your your drip pans on, you know, under your eyes of your stove. I don't, I don't have drip pans on mine, but um, your Venta hood filter, your, uh, I have a toaster oven that has a drip. So I can mm. put that in there. Mm-hmm. That little black rubber seal in the drain over the garbage disposal. That, yeah, that thing before. is so nasty. It smells mm-hmm. all the time. Even your, um, like if you have a plastic silverware tray, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. there's always like little crumbs and yucky mm-hmm. stuff in there. And it's hard to get out. 
Or mm-hmm. um, the one I can't wait to try is like if you have glass globes like on a vanity mirror or on a ceiling yes. fan. You know, when you go to wipe those down, the black dust just kind of mm-hmm. smears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like run those through the dishwasher and then they get, you know, really clean. No, that's so, a good idea. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, don't think just dishes. Think of all kinds of things you could put through there. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I like that. For my refrigerator and stuff, I just tend to clean that out as I unload groceries. So if I'm going to be filling up a shelf and I notice there's stuff on it, I'll just grab a wet paper towel and clean it off. So I never really feel like my refrigerator gets that dirty. And same with my silverware drawer. As I put silverware away, I clean it out. I hate seeing those crumbs in there. Oh, I know. And so as I empty the dishwasher, if I see any, okay, where's my damp paper towel? That's going. (laughs) Sometimes it's just hard to get out. Yeah. Oh, what I was going to say about the refrigerator, though, this won't work on mine because my drawer is one big drawer. But if you had like three small drawers, they can go in the dishwasher. Of your that's very hard to get. Oh. Yeah, because that's oh. very hard to get the crumbs and, mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, you know, like sticky stuff. And mm-hmm. yeah, so right. I like to get all that clean. So but mine won't fit. So, OK, I haven't tried that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say, yeah, I don't feel like I use any kind of special cleaning products in the kitchen. Um, In fact, you'll probably hear me repeating the same products for pretty much everywhere in the house. But the older I get, the more I've realized how much um, having Dawn soap on hand, Mm. hot water, Mm -hmm. vinegar and Mm -hmm. baking soda. Mm -hmm. I'm like, your whole house with those things, you know, really essentially are what you need. And so I use those plus my trusty Clorox wet wipes because I don't know it just makes me feel better about life like I've mm-hmm. disinfected it and it's all clean all the germs are gone yeah. but um <laughs> I don't spray anything on my appliances anymore either I just use a microfiber cloth and that cleans them yeah better oh, I feel great. like than spraying a product on there and like the microfiber cloth and I even have one for windows so, like, you don't have to spray oh. the Windex on there. You just dampen the microfiber cloth and you can. Um, yeah, I do, you know, do like the windows. microfiber cloth for the windows. It, just make sure you keep one separate for glass because it could get, mm-hmm. like, oils. But I still use oh. the glass cleaner, but um, it doesn't leave lint and mm-hmm. it's it's nice. Mm, yeah. I need to do that. That's a great idea. I don't think I'd use a microfiber cloth to, like, clean my whole house like if I would want to be outside cleaning the windows I'd definitely need a product but like inside it's mostly just water splatters you know that have gotten up there so it comes off nicely and um yeah but definitely for your appliances too like if you can't get your stainless steel to be shiny anymore or you know the front of your dishwasher try a Mm -hmm. microfiber cloth with just water I have added a few drops of baby oil to any actually any kind of oil will work on stainless steel but I don't like to use vegetable oil because it might like go bad or something, you know, oh. but a few drops of baby oil, like to get rid of fingerprints. Cause I have a mm-hmm. dishwasher panel that's stainless and mm-hmm. some, some mm-hmm. of the places on my microwave and my fridge handle, they're stainless. So that works mm-hmm. really good on that. Mm-hmm. Good tip. Yeah. What about washing the floor? I do that about once a month, washing the kitchen floor, mm-hmm. but I have hardwood floors, so they don't show a lot. Yeah, I would say it's probably about once a month, too. I try to sweep it every day, and if it mm-hmm. really needs it, if I'm vacuuming another part of the house, I'll just make sure I get the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And then um, I'm still using that lovely spin mop that I bought that I was so in love with. Oh, yes. okay. And I st- So it's kind of fun to get that out, but it's, you know, you have to move all the bar stools and the chairs and the rugs. Mm-hmm. And right. so, I, you know, it probably ends, ends up being about once a month. Yeah. And I, at the same time that I do that, I touch up any paint chips on my kitchen cabinets because my kitchen cabinets are painted. And so I have a bottle of touch up paint and I will touch up everything. Now, you wouldn't believe I've barely even had to do that since people have left for college. I could probably do it once every three or four months. But when people are home, it's always the cabinet that holds the garbage that has chips and the one that holds the cups. Right. Like, you know, but I just touch all that up and then you're starting fresh <laughs> every time. I'm impressed, Marie. So, wow. I listen to a podcast and, you know, I don't mind doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel good at the end when it's all clean and I clean the appliances the same day. And so, But in the kitchen, what about your self-cleaning oven? I find that I run that about once a year and it makes everybody mm. leave the house. Have you guys run your self-cleaning ovens? Because it's so smelly. Twice a year. Twice a year. Yeah. Is your smelly? I do smelly? it at night. 
I don't think so. Oh. I mean, you don't put any chemicals in there or anything. So oh, just, no, but just the burning smell, I think, makes... Yeah, I usually do it because yeah. it takes... I think it locks it down for like six hours. So I just do it overnight. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you just vacuum it out. But one thing that, you know, you can't leave the racks in there when you clean the oven because it turns them dark. So uh, we our racks are the dirtiest part because if, we'll, you know, if you're doing pizza directly on the rack or things spill. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried this hack probably two years ago and it... It's one of those that really, really works. You you put them in your bathtub with mm-hmm. uh, dryer sheets. I know that mm-hmm. sounds bizarre, mm-hmm. but it all just slips right off. You leave it there overnight, and uh, I lined a towel in the bathtub so it wouldn't scratch. But they came. They looked brand new. It just slips off all yeah. that burnt on stuff. So I'm wondering if that's wow. an old wives' tale, though, because I never take my racks out, and they're not dark. I have oh, read mine that turned before. Dark. Okay. Yeah, mine turned dark because I, I on one of and I exit, I forgot to take them out and they turned. Yeah, and I really wouldn't looking. care if mine turned. I just want them to get clean. So if you don't care, maybe try it. Yours might not turn. Mine didn't turn. But yeah, if you really want to, if you really want to, then do the bathtub. But otherwise, you might be able to get away with it, depending on what oven you have. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I just had to take my. Chances. I just wanted them to look like stainless, you know, like they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to bathrooms, Mindy. I know you've talked so many times about how you actually get your boys to clean the bathroom. Mm. Tell us this miraculous secret that you have. I get mad and I get grossed out, and I'm like, <laughs> I just refuse for you guys to live like slobs and be sick from your own bacteria that you've been growing in this bathroom. <laughs> and so finally, I mean. It has to happen on a weekend, you know, where they're home. And I'll just kind of say, I look for any kind of bribery. (laughs) bribery. Mm. Oh, you want to go there? Well, you can't do that until you do this to my satisfaction. So then Bryce and I will go up and check. You you always have to go check because they've never done it the way that you want it. No. So um, Jacob's shower particularly got really bad. We were hosting D now. I had a bunch of girls and we really had to open up all extra bathrooms for all these girls. Mm. So even though the boys were gone, I needed to let the girls, you know, use their bathrooms. Well, mm-hmm. I'm not letting a seventh grade girl and this teenage boy bathroom is gross. Mm-hmm. And so if you happen to have a shower, it's so gross. I don't even want to like tell you this was in my house, but I will tell you how <laughs> to get it really clean. Uh-huh. <laughs> So first you just spray bleach over everything. And I happen to love the smell of bleach because I know it's killing absolutely everything, including mm-hmm. brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, hey, first of all, just kill everything. Mm-hmm. Then I would highly recommend two things. The CLR, like bathroom foaming spray, mm-hmm. it's like it gets rid of mildew, soap scum, and it kind of coats everything. So once you've sprayed bleach, rinse it out. Spray CLR over everything. And then I have a little scrub brush and you got to go to town. I Mm. mean, (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then rinse it. And then one more coat of CLR scrubbing. And that thing was like brand new. Jacob couldn't believe how clean I was able to get it. He happened to be gone. Unfortunately, I had to do it. But um, now um, he's he wanted to know how I got it that clean. He didn't think it could happen. Mm -hmm. So really, it's just I had to teach the boys how to do it. Because I think a lot of times... You don't know until Mm -hmm. you kind of experience things. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that for like the soap scum buildup and all that, I always use bleach to to get rid of mold though, especially being down here in a humid, warm environment. Mm -hmm. Bleach is our friend. Um, And then Dawn soap mixed with equal amounts of vinegar shaken Mm -hmm. in a little, you know, spray bottle. Mm -hmm. That's also really good to get rid of the soap scum buildup. Now, are you using bar soap or liquid soap? The boys like to use um, bar soap. Okay. Okay. Because I wouldn't, I don't, I don't let any bar soap come in my house. (laughs) So Mm, my kids have never even experienced bar soap. So I don't really feel like soap scum is a problem, but I definitely feel like mildew becomes a problem. Yes. Well, maybe that's a switch we need to make Mm and like get them used to that because yeah, yeah, there's, there's definitely soap scum. So this is good for um, a slow drain either in your shower or a clogged toilet. And so a plumber told me about this actually. And so you get a big pot, your biggest pot and boil water in it. And then you drop a couple of dishwasher tabs with the Dawn soap Mm -hmm. that that's in it. So you drop a couple of those tabs and then you pour, like let the force of the water hit Mm -hmm. the drain. Mm -hmm. Um, And it, 
works wonders with clearing drains um, and also the toilet. So I have unclogged pretty much every, actually, yeah, every toilet. I've never called a plumber again since I learned this trick with the clogged toilet business, unless some kid is stuck a toy down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't dissolve that. (laughs) If it's natural things, you know, then this would work. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to think about the bathroom and I do think that I've started since I started hiring like once every couple of years, someone to come in and clean my grout and seal it. I have insisted that my people in the house wipe down their showers because that just helps prevent the mildew and mold so much if they'll just wipe them down when they're done. Um, So that has helped with the cleaning, Mm -hmm. but you still do get a little bit. And so then I'll have to spray some Lysol cleaner on there, like the mildew remover. But I, a lot of times, I might not be spraying everything down, but because I'm changing those hand towels, I'll dampen half of it and like clean off the whole counter and go down the cabinet where they've spilled their toothpaste. And like before I throw that towel down, I'm basically using it. I don't clean the toilet with it, but you know, I clean, I clean all the surfaces with it so that, I don't know, at least it looks clean. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, yeah, I feel like a lot of it is how it looks. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and it smells. <laughs> yeah, yes. I wanted to share again for your toilet. Like, yeah, you can get that the blue stuff. You know, you spray in there and you can clean your toilet. But remember, I was saying earlier this year, I wanted to get that ring around the very top, and yeah. nothing worked. So I wanted to just bring up to listeners again that on Amazon you can get a pumice stone toilet cleaner. And I used that once in November and it's already February and I've not had to use it again. Like it was very long lasting. It got the gross stuff off. Now I'm sure I'll probably have to use it, you know, at some other point this year, but Mm -hmm. it's not even a weekly thing. It's like get it off and it kind of stays off for a while. So I'll put a link to that in the in the show notes if you are wanting to to up your toilet cleaning game. (laughs) Yeah. Well, do you guys do anything? Um, do you have glass shower doors or for your don't. showers? Or I do. Okay. I'll say this is one of those things that I had to um, start suffering a little bit, but a little bit goes a long way. And so getting a little squeegee for the shower, because we mm-hmm. do have a glass door mm-hmm. and um, I don't ever have to clean it now mm-hmm. <laughs> because yeah. if you squeegee it every after every use, mm-hmm. um, it just looks good all the time. Yes. Like you, Mindy, I always have to use bleach for the mildew, and there's not a lot. Sometimes it's just in the corners. I love a soap scum cleaner. Like my favorite is scrubbing bubbles. It has a, just a fresh scent, and then the squeegee is probably the most uh, valuable thing in there. Yeah, because um, I I'm kind of OCD about this. Even if I let dishes stay in my sink overnight, I'm not gonna stop squeegeeing my shower glass. That'll be the last <laughs> thing that goes. <laughs> That's the last thing that goes. Yes. So, um, and I've <laughs> talked about this before, but there's a product called Invisible Invisible Shield Glass and Surface Cleaner and Repellent, and it's kind of like that Rainex for your car windshield. Mm-hmm. Um, you clean your clean your glass and put that on, and you really don't get soap scum on there, and the water repels, and it lasts for a long time, mm-hmm. as long as I squeegee it. I don't. I haven't really tried tried it without that, but. Um, and then I love using the microfiber and on my glass now, that is really a great way to clean the mirrors. And then I love to use the Goo Gone in the bathroom. It makes the marble really mm. shiny and the fixtures. And before I found that invisible shield stuff, the Goo Gone even works great on shower glass if you put it on dry. Like you have to mm. get the glass dry. But mm. it cuts oh, wow. it cuts right through soap scum and then it, it also causes the water to beat up, you know. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I have Goo Gone, and the only thing I ever use it for is to get price tags off items that I have yeah. a hard time, but this, there's so many other uses <laughs> yeah, for it, I, I guess. It. I love it. <laughs> and one thing I would say, this seems rather simple, but let the let the cleaner stay on. I use, you know, I'm usually in such a hurry. I spray it on and I wipe it off. Mm, like, uh-huh. let it let it do its job. Like, maybe spray it down and go do something else and come mm-hmm. back. And mm-hmm. um, sometimes that's hard to do, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. And one of my tips that I learned a long time ago for the bathrooms that I love is instead of keeping all these cleaners under every sink, because it's kind of hard to keep track of like, oh, am I out of bleach in that bathroom or how much is left? I just have a little cleaning caddy. It's kind of like a bucket. Some of them have wheels on them and they're divided. 
and I keep um, like my bleach, my soap scum cleaner, my glass cleaner, uh, gloves, a sponge, a microfiber cloth, magic erasers or something I love. Um, and you just move it around to the bathroom you're cleaning. And so then under that sink, you have room for mm-hmm. other things, you know, like, cause not every bathroom has mm. a linen closet. You might want to keep towels down there. Or if it's for a True. guest, they might want to put their stuff away when they're there. So it's, and plus it's just nice to open a sink and look under there and there'd mm-hmm. be nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. So <laughs> I just like having all my cleaning <laughs> together and then I can keep a better inventory. Like when I need something and it's, it's just easier to move it around to me for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can see how that would be helpful. Well, let's talk about some of the rooms that might not require daily work, because I feel like kitchen and bathrooms, if you're using them, they yeah. pretty much require daily attention. But let, what about like your living room and your hangout spaces? Is there anything that you guys try to do in there? Well, my go-to product for that room would be Carpet Fresh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, it's it's a mixture of baking soda and some and a scent. Mm-hmm. You could just use baking soda though. Uh-huh. Um, and just sprinkle it on. And that's that's one of my things. Like if somebody's coming over, that's gonna happen because it smells like your whole house is clean. It's kind of shooting the scent out the vacuum, you know, the, mm. the fan on your vacuum. Mm-hmm. And then I have several throw pillows on the couch, and there's either a cat always napping on one, mm-hmm. or Charlie takes over the couch and throws them on the floor, and then they pick up all the dog hair off the floor. Mm-hmm. So I'm constantly <laughs> oh. having to use my pet hair remover for the furniture. It's a great little thing <laughs> I got on Amazon, and it's like a it's like a roller, and it collects all the pet hair mm-hmm. in it. I probably use that twice a day because it just bugs me. I just go wow. by and see hair, and I got to get it off. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> even, even if nobody's here, you know, it just I just can't stand to see that dog hair everywhere. Um, <laughs> vacuuming underneath the, the cushions, uh, using all the tools on your vacuum, like that long, skinny thing, like go down between mm-hmm. the arm and the frame of the couch. And mm-hmm. I mean, on my couch, that's where that's where dog hair collects. So it's kind of mm-hmm. gross. <laughs> Yeah, I'll even sprinkle some baking soda under the cushions onto the oh. uh, frame of the couch, um, vacuum it up. Mm-hmm. Um, I've heard people leaving like dryer sheets under there, mm. you know, to keep it smelling fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. just wiping down, like I'll even clean my leather with that goo gone or after I dust, kind of mm-hmm. put a little on the furniture. It just makes it all look clean and smells good. Wow. Oh, sounds like Gugan is the uh, MVP of this show. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I, mean, it is. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I am like you, Julie. Once a month, I will flip all the couch cushions, vacuum everything under there, and kind of like level set it. Like I want to get it looking like the day they delivered it. So mm-hmm. if there's any like yogurt that people dropped on it or whatever mm-hmm. that I haven't noticed, like I have to go around and spot clean. And, and I would mm-hmm. just like to put a plug in for baby wipes. Because I love baby wipes. If if Gugon is Julie's best friend, baby wipes are mine. So I find that they'll get off, get out almost anything that on the, that's on the couch. They get off all the fingerprints really? off the wall, off the woodwork. Like I don't know. I just use baby wipes for a ton of things. I don't know what's in those. Probably something that's going to kill me. But they work. No, well. I think there is I like a not. soapy cleaner in those. Whereas you wouldn't want to use those interchangeably yeah. with Clorox wipes because you don't want bleach on your right. sofa or your clothes. Yeah. But no. I think it's yeah. more just like a general soapy so, kind of cleaner. Yeah, I have baby wipes upstairs and downstairs so that when I see something, I can run and get one. Wow. <laughs> so Julie's spraying her goo gone and I'm doing yep. my baby wipes. <laughs> wow. I mean, about the only thing I feel like I'm so um, like simple compared to you guys are like really going to town and I'm like, I just pick up the cups and flush and I fluff <laughs> the pillows and put the blankets away because like every night all the blankets come out and everybody's mm, laying all over everything mm-hmm, and there's mm-hmm. cups and they might've had ice cream or popcorn. I mean, like a party mm-hmm. has happened every right. single night. And so <laughs> if you don't so have like pets Marie, though, you don't have that to worry about. See, so that's, yeah. I don't have pets. I just have, you know, two main children and, and a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with you on the blankets and pillows, Mindy. They get used. Yeah. I feel like you have to level set those every day. Uh huh. It's constant. It's every day. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so then really it's just cleaning off clutter, you know, like collected mail or mm-hmm. I don't like, I don't like clutter. Yeah. I don't have a lot of knickknacks. So I really like just kind of clean bare surfaces is where I'm happiest. 
But otherwise, every once in a while, I I like your idea of the baking powder. Um, I haven't done that. Um, but soda. I will spray yeah. light. I'm sorry, yeah. the baking soda. I really like that on the carpet and even under couch cushions. I'm gonna have to do mm-hmm. that. But I pretty much just use Lysol. Probably once a month, I will spray down the couch and the chairs and the pillows, and I just feel like it disinfects and gets rid of germs, but it also kind of freshens everything up. People wrestle enough in my house Mm. (laughs) (laughs) that I will lose a lamp every once in a while um, from wrestling, Mm -hmm. and (laughs) then is when under the couch gets cleaned. And I, I'm sorry to say it happens often enough. I don't even work to try to clean under there. Mm-hmm. Rosie, mm-hmm. my iRobot will vacuum, mm-hmm. but I don't do much else. I do feel like things get either broken or used or abused enough that my whole life is really just spot cleaning. So mm-hmm. a lot of times I don't have a methodical effort. I'm really just trying to take care of the things that got <laughs> hurt (laughs) or dirty or whatever it is. And so I think that one day I'll have to be more methodical, Mm -hmm. but right now I'm just like, "Mm, Mm -hmm. no, it's just, there's a fire every day. There's something happening. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. for sure. I mean, sometimes you're in those kinds of seasons, you know, and that's what you have to go with. Um, Another thing I wanted to say that is a good friend, not just for cleaning your floors, but I use the Swiffer dry cloths to dust everywhere in my house. And so you can just see that dust attached to it. And I'll use it to clean my blinds. I'll use it to clean my furniture. I use it to clean off my porch when it's pollen season. Just, I don't know, Swiffer, the dry cloths. I don't even hardly ever use it on my floor. I mostly just use it to dust and clean up things like that. That sounds satisfying. (laughs) You can see the dust stick to it. (laughs) Yeah, that sounds really, really gratifying. (laughs) When you mentioned cleaning your porch, I only have ceiling fans on my porch. I don't have them in the house. Mm -hmm. But, you know, cleaning the ceiling fan blades is kind of a nasty Mm -hmm. thing to do. Mm -hmm. And I read, I haven't tried it yet, but they said, you know, save an old pillowcase and Mm -hmm. wipe it down with that so all that dust doesn't fall into your room it falls into the Mm -hmm. pillowcase Mm -hmm. so has anybody tried that i've read that before but i always use my swiffer dry cloth and the dust kind of sticks to that that's what i need to do on the outside it's nasty so it comes off in chunks but i i usually use a vacuum so okay yeah i have read that before another thing i recommend that people have is a stain pen Um, Like get the color of your Mm -hmm. woodwork, buy those Mm -hmm. stain pens at Lowe's. They are so awesome for like touching up scratches on your wood floors or your wood colored cabinets or anything like Mm -hmm. you can keep things looking nice a lot longer just by filling in those little daily or weekly things that are going to happen to your wood furniture. I love a stain pen. Agree. Um, Okay, let's talk a little bit about things that you maybe don't do every week, but you do monthly or yearly. Is there anything you guys wanted to to bring to our attention? Well, I know that when John first got sick, I went into panic mode. Well, about a lot of things, but um, specifically about the upkeep of our house, because I realized how much he did. Mm. Not not cleaning so much, but just maintenance, mm-hmm. upkeep. Mm-hmm. And so this is something that I had done early in our marriage. And I think it was an Emily Barnes tip. Mm-hmm. I kept this little box of index cards and it was like daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. And then each card had a task. Mm. And so I just asked John, like, okay, how often do the air filters need to be changed? Because I don't know. He just does it, you know? Mm -hmm. Or how often do you clean out the ice maker, like run the cleaner through it? Or, you know, he vacuums out the vents over the refrigerator. It has like an intake vent that has to be vacuumed. And um, I don't know. I was just panicking over all that because I don't know any of that stuff. So Mm -hmm. I I since got my little box back out and made Mm -hmm. a list. And it's Mm -hmm. kind of the same principle. Like, you know how they say, if you're really worried about something at night and you can't sleep, if you'll just get down, get up and write it down, like mm-hmm. you're getting it out of your mind safely on paper. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how it is with those things for me, like knowing, okay, mm-hmm. it's written down somewhere mm-hmm. that I need to do this. And some of the things that, you know, I thought through were like the Venta hood filters and descaling the coffee maker. Those are like monthly or every quarter, probably um, descaling your shower heads 
the filter for it, the filters on the fridge and the ice maker has to be cleaned with the cleaning solution to get the pink mold out, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so th- cleaning the gutters, cleaning the windows on the outside. And um, I don't know. I just needed to write those down so that I will know, okay, mm-hmm. I'm not going to forget. It's going to tell me when I need to do them. Mm-hmm. So so that I don't do a schedule daily, weekly, monthly, but for like those big things that I might forget, I like to have those written down. No, that's a good idea. And it kind of just it keeps is. your mind from going, when's that due? When did I last do that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you do like only periodically, Mindy? <laughs> a lot of the things you guys do weekly are the things <laughs> I only do periodically. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I felt like such a slob when I read the no, list. I'm like, I know I clean things, but I don't have a whole lot to add for things that are more periodically. Um, at least not that came to mind because honestly, the things I would say are periodic in my life are things y'all have already mentioned. Mm-hmm. Cleaning out the fridge, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> cleaning out the oven, uh-huh. <laughs> cleaning my ceiling fans, which are in every room because I'm sorry, but the Georgia heat. People struggled right. down here. Well, and I wonder if ceiling fans are like other things. You probably use yours. Mine get dusty because no one's using them. So yours might not get as dusty because they're not yeah. just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are things that, you know, also a periodic thing that we have to deal with here is septic tank. Oh. And um, we don't have to have it flushed. Like it's actually brand new. We had to put it in. Um, replace the one that was there but there is a stuff that you pour into the toilets and it helps build the good bacteria so like if you're going to go out of town Mm -hmm. and you're leaving your septic tank alone (laughs) this is (laughs) something that's really yes unattended (laughs) then then it's really good every once in a while to pour in the solution and i it's not on my in my head right now okay but um yeah to help to help kill the bad bacteria and build the good bacteria in the right. septic tank. Okay. Well, let's tackle this question because I know this was all of our favorites. Like this is what I would love to hear what people do. So mm-hmm. if you were just sitting on your couch and somebody called and said, Hey, I'm going to be there in 30 minutes. What do you need to do? <laughs> well, I'm going to sprinkle some carpet fresh on my rug. I'm going to run into the bathroom and make sure there's toilet paper on the roll and wipe the sink down. I'm going to put away any dishes, wipe the countertops down. I'm going to put away some clutter, fluff pillows, fold a blanket. And I'll probably run upstairs and check the cat litter box. Might put some carpet fresh in there. (laughs) That covers a lot. Then I'll come down and vacuum that rug that was in the den. Shut off any doors to rooms I don't care for anybody to see in. And then I'll probably light a candle. Okay. (laughs) You're going to be running at like the speed of light. (laughs) Yeah. She just got a workout, y'all. I know. (laughs) Is there anything that you would add that you would be doing in your house, Mindy? Um, Yes. I actually thought it was funny. One of the main things I do, Julie didn't mention, and it's because she doesn't have teenage boys. Mm. And so she mentioned while wiping down the sink in the guest bath. Well, my toilet, the toilet is what I'm looking at. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) I'm I'm looking at, I'm wiping down the whole toilet, but the only thing else that I would do, I wouldn't actually um, really vacuum. I would, I would look for spot cleaning situations with a, Uh with a little broom, Uh but I would spray Windex on the bathroom, the half bath mirror and mm-hmm. around the sink and also on the counters in the kitchen. Because I remember reading a long time ago, it just stuck with me that like, if you spray some sort of cleaning agent and Windex is a good one, like the, you feel like the whole house is clean when you smell, smell. a little bit of Windex. Mm-hmm. So I do spray a little bit of Windex and I, that's the only time I'll actually clean a sink with Windex. It's, it's not really to clean it. It's just to get the the smell. Mm -hmm. And um, it's funny because Julie, the last thing I put on my list was light a candle. And that's what you put. Yeah. So smart. Yeah. Well, I was thinking that I would grab a box. I always have an Amazon box out in the garage (laughs) waiting to be (laughs) gotten rid of. And I would start going around. I'd put the whole pile of papers that I can never seem to get off my kitchen right in the box. Mm. I would pick up all the mm-hmm. nagging things that I have at the bottom of the stairs that nobody ever takes off and put them in the box. And I would just take that whole box. I'd go all around the house and pick up whatever. And I'd take that whole box upstairs. And I have done that so many times, even when I don't only have 30 minutes, even when I have a whole day. 
And sometimes I don't get around to taking that box back out of the stuff for like two weeks. And I find things that I've been searching for. I forgot about that I put in that box. So you got to empty it out soon after your company leaves or you'll be wondering (laughs) where your stuff went (laughs) or where your kid's stuff went. Like I think Isaac was like, I don't have any of my workout tank tops. My workout tank tops, I I didn't need more. I don't know what happened to him. Well, he must have had them laying around before we had company. I just threw them in a box and then I found them a couple of weeks later. I was going to say, it's probably the most used stuff in your house because it's laying around. Yeah. (laughs) But I would definitely do that. And then I would be like you guys, just putting back the pillows and blankets and wiping that Uh downstairs bathroom down because... If someone has to use the bathroom, it's a terrible feeling mm-hmm. when you know that it's just not clean in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, true. I don't know if um, I learned this from my grandmother back um, a long time ago. You know, she didn't have all these fancy air fresheners and uh, chemically stuff. Her air freshener was a match. Have you ever done that? Like, yes. she kept a little book of matches in her bathroom and that you lit the yep. match and like it totally, I mean, it takes away every odor. It's amazing. Yep. Hmm. So yep. if, if yep. you're not afraid to leave matches in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I was home alone for the week and someone said I'm going to come over in 30 minutes, I'd probably need more time. You guys, I'm such a bad housekeeper when I'm by myself. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did way more when there was more to be done. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So yeah, I mean, we are talking to mostly midlife women. So if you're feeling like I've really fallen off in the years, I think that's normal. I know. And it takes having company for me to do stuff sometimes. I was going to say the best tip is to have company. Yeah. I host book club once a month and just knowing that people are going to come in just that one time a month, at least I get things clean before that one event. I mean, we have people come in and out before that. But like I'm saying, like, if you have like a monthly thing that you host, that's like the best thing. You're going to at least once a month reset everything. (laughs) Right. Mm -hmm. All right, listeners. Well, we recommended a lot of things today, and I'm going to put links to the more obscure ones in our show notes. And we'd love for you to contact us with any cleaning tips or tricks that you have because we're always willing to add something new in. You can find us at Instagram at Midlife Matters Podcast or email us at Midlife Matters Podcast at gmail.com. But before we go, we want to do I'm a fan. All right, Mindy, what are you a fan of this week? I'm a fan of a tool, a power tool, actually, for me. Ooh. And it is called a, it's by DeWalt, and it's a battery-powered blower. And the um, battery is rechargeable. So I live on my porches. Mm. Um, and so I have a front porch and a back porch and then the garage. Mm-hmm. And when we first moved here, um, I was taking a broom and mm-hmm. sweeping everything. And it could take me like an hour. And so Bryce went out and bought me this DeWalt um, power blower and I have loved it. It is so quick. I use it all the time. I actually keep it in my laundry room because it's such a clean power tool because it's battery powered. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get, it's not nasty. It doesn't have oil or, you know, nothing, gas, fumes or anything, nothing. And so I, I will um, blow out my entire garage often. So mm-hmm. that keeps people from tracking things in. That would be and good I, idea. And I go, that's another thing actually that I do before people come is I blow off the front porch mm. and the back porch because mm-hmm. you naturally, you know, the front porch is the first thing you see. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people will gravitate towards the back porch once they're in the house. Mm-hmm. And so that power tool has saved me a lot of time. It's enjoyable to use and I can operate it myself and not feel like I'm covered in fumes. Yeah. <laughs> and they're lightweight. I think they're lighter is. than, yeah. Cause my mom got one it, cause she couldn't carry the bigger one anymore. Yes. So that's a great idea. Yeah. I like to blow out the garage because they all get mm-hmm. trapped in all the leaves blow mm-hmm. into the garage and then they break down and then their people are carrying them mm-hmm. all in yes. the house. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I have windows in my garage and they're really tall. And so I'll try to blow out the spider webs that yeah. will naturally start to gravitate towards those windows. I've been using like a shop vac for stuff like that, but 
Mm-hmm. A power that's kind of heavy, and I can't stand how loud it is. Oh, so I right. wonder if like a battery operated blower would be nice. Well, I'll send you the link for mine. Okay. I have absolutely loved it. I don't know how I did without it. It's <laughs> one of those things. Awesome. All right, Julie, what are you a fan of this week? I'm a fan of a pasta dish that um, my daughter and I cooked together when I was visiting there last week. And it's just called date night pasta. So that doesn't tell you anything about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's like uh, we use bow tie pasta and it's got cherry tomatoes, fresh basil, fresh garlic, Parmesan cheese and lemon. And it mm. was just really, really flavorful. Lots mm. of depth to the flavor. Mm-hmm. And something I learned, which I'm sure people that cook often already know this, but you reserve <laughs> the pasta water when you drain the pasta. Mm. Because that's full of like starchy um, material Mm -hmm. that helps thicken the sauce. You pour it back into the sauce. Mm -hmm. And because this isn't like a real thick sauce. You know, it's just got tomatoes and butter and oil. Mm -hmm. And that helps it to kind of stick to the pasta. It was really, really good. So I can't wait to make it again here. Yeah, that does sound like a good one. That sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. And it sounds really pretty, too. The it colors. is. It's really pretty. And you could add um, a grilled chicken breast or a salmon uh, piece of fish or whatever to it. We didn't right. have meat on ours. But no, actually, she did some sausage. She mm. did some chicken sausage with mm-hmm. it. Okay. <laughs> but okay. most of the ingredients you would have, I mean, you'd have to buy the tomatoes and maybe the basil and a lemon. But you would have a lot of the other ingredients. Mm-hmm. Right. So it was really good. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, I'm a fan this week of my Kindle Paperwhite. I talked earlier about how I <gasps> didn't remember to ask for this for Christmas. I didn't even really realize that I wanted it <laughs> till January. I thought, oh, I'm just going to watch for sales. And I never really saw the Kindle Paperwhites go on sale, but then the kids version went on sale. So I looked it up and that is actually the exact same as the adult version, except it comes with a two-year warranty instead of the one. And it comes with no ads and the adult one comes with ads. So that one did go on sale and it also comes with its own case. It came with a nice black case. So I didn't (gasps) have to buy that separately. So I was just going to make a recommendation to listeners that if you have been watching the Kindle Paperwhites and you want to get the new one, look to see if the kids version goes on sale because I ended up getting it for $109. Of course, it included a case, which you'd probably pay at least $20 for. Mm -hmm. And it came with the extra year warranty. So I don't know. I mean, as opposed to like the 140 to 50 for the adult, I felt like the kids was a pretty good deal um, mm-hmm. if you are wanting a new one. So I've been happy with yeah. it. And I noticed myself reading more that my books are all in one place. And I took it on a trip mm-hmm. this week. It was nice to read on the plane. It's just been yes. good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you got that, Marie. Yeah. You've talked yeah. about yeah, doing that for nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, I enjoyed talking with you about cleaning. Your routines inspire me. And I hope that we've encouraged some listeners today. We by no means claim to be experts. I'm inspired to get up and do some cleaning now. I know. I'm feeling a little convicted and glad that we had this conversation. (laughs) All right. Well, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Sounds great. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're so happy you joined us today. You can find the show notes for this episode at midlifematterspodcast.com. Also, please tell a friend about the show and help them hit the free subscribe button on their favorite podcast app. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Midlife Matters Podcast. That's where we post pictures and stories about all the things we talk about in each episode. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.